Hey guys, it's me, Will Patterson here again, and here is a new video, and I wanted just to say thank you so much for nearly 800 subscribers. It seems like every video I put out, I get 100 new subscribers uh, within that time, so that's nearly like, on average now, 80 subscribers a week, which is flipping awesome, so thank you so much for that. Um, but I wanted to show you what I've done here. Now, this is strange, because you won't normally see me doing this, but... This is actually Illustrator, I'm not in Photoshop at the moment. Um, and you can see this image of me, um, and when I click on it, you'll see all these path outlines. Now, you're probably thinking, Will, have you gone around and traced this like with the pen tool and vectorized this image? And the actual reality of it is no, it only took me less than a minute uh, to do this. And that's through this new, um, well not new I wouldn't say, but it's through this new function that Adobe Illustrator has brought out within Adobe CS6 on Illustrator, but it is now uh, better in Adobe Creative Cloud, Illustrator Creative Cloud, if I can say it right. So as, I, as you can see here, I can zoom right in on the image and it keeps everything, but you notice that it looks very strange because so I've zoomed right in here. Um, and that is because this is all vectorized and these are all path outlines, as you can see. Now, I did not trace around this, I used the image trace function, but I think I just thought I'd show you how good this is, because you can use this with, um, with anything really. If you had a picture of an apple or something that you wanted in your design that needs to be vectorized, then you can definitely just image trace it. Now, I'm going to show you how I've done this, so I'm going to open up a new file, um, 500 by 500 pixels will do for me. Then I'm just going to press Command V to copy it in, I'm going to press Command minus to zoom out. Holding Shift and Alt, I'm going to bring and transform this down. And then I'm going to press Command-0 so I can get um, the full scale of the image. If I click on this image, you'll notice up at the top bar here that um, you'll see this weird new sort of bit here. And this part here is the image trace. Now, you can either just press image trace, um, which uh, will vectorize it, but not in the best way. Um, or you can go down this little arrow box here and you'll see all these different sort of um, presets for um, image tracing. Now I'm not going to go through them all but um, generally if you're getting a picture like the one I've got here because this one is n not is all pixelated now but it's the actual picture I hate zooming in right on my face but that is the actual picture um, sorry hang on a sec um, so if you zoom in right there you see all the pixels and stuff but if I wanted to create like what I did in my other um, other tab here, if I wanted to uh, vectorize it all, what I would have to do is I would have to click on it, go down this arrow image trace and press high fidelity. Now this means that it will take all the paths in question, it will take the whole image in question, it will look uh, real as you're looking at it now. So I'm going to show you what I, what I mean by this. Now you will need a sort of a powerful computer for this, um, otherwise your computer could crash, Illustrator could crash. Um, so I've got an iMac here, so it should be a lot easier for me. So if you guys haven't got uh, a decent computer, um, I would go for the low fidelity, or I'd go for some of the things like three colors, six colors, but high fidelity, no. So I'm gonna press that, and you'll see this little progress box come up. And what it's doing is it's actually um, tracing around it for me automatically. So I'm not lifting a finger here. It's absolutely just doing itself, as you can see, it's curve fitting. And even on a good computer, it takes a while. Now you might think, oh, nothing's happened. But you'd be surprised, things have actually happened here. If I zoom right in again, you'll see that I'm, I've been vectorized, so I will not see any sort of pixelation. Um, but you will see the vector uh, from here. So that's pretty cool. So what this means is that for me, I could take a part of my cheek here, or my eye, sorry, excuse me, or part of my eye, and then I could put that in um, to another design to make it look awesome or do whatever with it. So I'm just going to show you here. It's taken all the highlights and it's colored it in for me, which is amazing. Um, but if I zoom right out, you'll see it look, just looks like a normal image, but you can actually just blow it up like so. And that takes a while because it's still image tracing. Now, if you were to do what I just did then, you'll see that this progress box will keep popping up because it's still uh, sort of an image, and that was a preview that you were seeing there. So I'll show you what I mean. Right, so the problem is now, 
is that I don't want it to keep doing that. I don't want it to keep bringing that progress box up. So what I need to do is click on the image and you'll go up here and you'll see this little view box. You can see outlines if you wanted to. So this is the outlines of the trace, tracing outlines with results. And the source image, you can just have a look at that if you want. So this is um, the actual bit that you want. So what we need to do is we need to press expand. Now this has expanded the whole image into path outlines that you can see. So now I can bring it up and down as you can see there. And I think that's amazing. This little tool that you can use is absolutely flipping amazing and I love it. So guys, I hope this helps. This will uh, hopefully help you with just taking um, funny pictures and then vectorizing them or using them in work and stuff like that. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, check out my Patreon page and my clothing line that's online right at the moment called prophesyapparel.co.uk. I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks very much and see you later.